Hey guys, Barn Geek here. On this video, we're going to go over the final segment of building this uh, post and beam king post pavilion. So we've cut two sets of spacer blocks for our for um, for our purlins. The one set is 15 inches. One set is 18 inches. The 15 inch long spacer blocks are for the space between the first and second purlin so the one at the eave that you'll see us put up and the second one because that needs to be 24 inches outside to center 15 inches plus 9 equals 24 and then the second set is for all the rest of the purlins 24 inches on center from center to center so 18 inches plus 6 equals 24 so that'll be what we need for that. Now at this point, what we're going to go over a little bit is the things that you can do after the basic structure is up. So let's say you want to just have a roof and have a pavilion like we have here, then you're done. You know, you, you're pretty much done. You just have a dirt floor um, and away you go. You can install a floor deck, which is basically just consists of put some footings down the center like you did with the posts. Install a, a beam down the center to carry your, your floor joists. Put some 2x6 or 2x8 floor joists across that beam. Put a couple of headers on the outsides uh, to carry those beams on, attached straight to the post. And then put your floor deck on. Pretty simple. And then uh, if you want to enclose the, a section or the whole thing, all you need to do is, is add some 2x6 girts to the outside of the structure. Uh, you'll need to put a post, like on the end there, you see the end here, you'll have to put a post down on the ends, another 6x6 six six post. The, this, this is all detailed in our plans on our website. It's worth it so that you don't have to try to figure this out on your own. Uh, but anyway, the post, you would put a post down here, put some girts on there, and uh, put a put siding on everything on the outside of that. Uses for this structure, uh, they're multiple. Like, like we're doing here, we've got a pavilion, we have picnics under it, it's a picnic shelter. Uh, we're going to have a kitchen, an outdoor kitchen on one end, and then 30 feet of porch or 20 feet of porch out here. So, and we actually have a plan that shows that exactly what we're going to do here in the library um, as part of the plan download and then of course you could enclose the whole thing and make it into a garage or a shop you could leave it open and just store like tractors use it a part as a parking pavilion put uh, you park your car in here park your tractor your farm equipment round bales of hay um, just a multitude of uses and man this thing goes up quick me and my son, a week we had the roof on, and we were only working two or three day, two or three hours every day. Not very much at all. You could easily have a, you know, if you got everything ready to go, you could have this thing up in a day, easy, no problem. Uh, not including the foundation, but the structure itself, you could have up in a day. 
and you could stack lumber in this to dry. This this would be amazing. It would it would store so much lumber. First of all, because you've all this space in between the rafters. Like the typical bull barn, you don't have this open space where you can go all the way up to the roof, to the bottom of the roof deck, and store like hay. Imagine how many how many more bales of hay you could get you could get in this space uh, that we, is usually filled up with rafters, you know, on a, on a typical pole barn structure. But you've got ten feet between the rafters on this, so you've got a lot of room. You know, you can you can stack two tiers of of, of round bales up there, so uh, really opens up the space. So that's one, uh, just one of many, many. You could uh, build this as a farm stand, have an open part where you've got fruit and vegetables sitting out. You have an enclosed part where they can pay. Uh, you can make it a little smaller. You can make it a cabin. You can enclose one end. So you've got three bays here. If we can enclose two end bays and leave the center bay open, you'd have a, two different cabins attached together with an open structure in between. For a, a porch, a community area, so uh, it can be an off, lots of off-grid uses, outdoor kitchens, just, just a very, very versatile structure. Also, this is a big one. You can rent these out for for parties, events, weddings. The big thing about a pavilion is it doesn't fall under a lot of the commercial building regulations because it's open-sided so it has exits everywhere so um, a lot of times you can get by you know you can get away with <laughs> uh, doing uh, events like that because it's an outdoor structure it's really nothing really more except for a permanent canopy and then if the state bothers you about it I mean they've got probably hundreds if not thousands of um, pavilions in public parks everywhere that they rent out without uh, any trouble at all. So what they can do, you should be able to do as well. It's a great structure. Download the plans, barngeek.com. Well worth the membership fee. This, this particular barn, plus all of our others, and I think I got a couple shed, shed designs in there too. So anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching this video. And we'll catch you on the next one.